Hey everyone, it's John from Ride Upstate. And today I wanna to talk to you about some updates that I recently saw to GridWise. One update is one that I have been wanting for a long time now, and it will be really great to see how this affects the way that I drive in the future. Now I have to admit, I haven't really been following GridWise's app development for a while, so I'm not really sure when these updates came out, but I just wanna to talk to you about all the ones that I noticed. So we're gonna open up my GridWise app here and we're gonna take a look at what I'm talking about. And the very first thing that I noticed when I opened up the app this morning to just kind of take a look at it, see how much it had changed, is that now the nearest airport to me is listed and the weather for that airport is listed as well. So one of the things that was really difficult for me with using GridWise is being in upstate New York, the nearest airports were either in New York City or in Boston. And because of that, it made the weather and the event listings absolutely useless to me. So what I'm hoping to see in the future is that when the concerts happen locally and when the horse racing season starts up, that's going to show up in the app. But I was very happy to see the weather and the airport listing, which I'm scrolling down here now. Now, there's no information there right now about arriving and departing flights, but I think that will change over time. I'm not sure how many people locally use GridWise. I'm going to be mentioning it in a couple of the local Facebook groups, so hopefully people will start using this. I'm not an airport rat. I don't tend to sit around and wait at airports for rides. And I kind of, I'm kind of opportunistic. And during the summer, when I'm typically giving rides, it's to the airport. It's not necessarily from the airport. So a few other things that I noticed is that I could now add my roadie earnings. Now it's manual, but at least I can differentiate that. And as well is I can go in and under the income here, I can add earnings. And when you click on add earnings, they have several categories, including bonus tips and other. So if you get a cash tip, you can record that. If you get some kind of bonus that doesn't show up in the standard earnings, because the way these apps uh, hook into Uber's API and Lyft's API, not all bonuses show up. So you can add those. And then of course there's other, I don't know what kind of other there would be unless you wanted to add maybe some points or money that you earn cash back on a credit card that you use exclusively for your driving. So I was really happy to see that and to be able to add those earnings. Of course, I'm not seeing any events just yet here. I did notice, so if I switch to uh, New York City and I switch to that market, and what we should be able to see, so now you can see the arrivals and the departures and looks like maybe, yeah, so there's no events listed. If I hit view all events, um, again, it's showing some days here. You can see the dots and you can see some of the, of the events here. So Billy Budd at the Metropolitan Opera and uh, Hawks at Nick's. So let's again go back home here and we can change back to Albany, which is the nearest airport. And so here we go. Uh, now we got some events showing up. We have a hockey game, Albany Empire, Ontario, or, I'm sorry, Arena Football. So Ontario Bandits versus the Albany Empire. We got the Siena College commencement, which is actually happening tomorrow. And let's see, what else have we got? View all events. So... Not bad. If you'll notice, the dots there are indicating how busy they expect that it will be from that. I'm really glad to see that. I, I'm happy to see these improvements. This was something when I first started using GridWise when it became available nationally. It was the very first thing I mentioned to them 
that needed to be improved. You can't make an app like this available in all of the U.S. and not have it uh, at least showing weather and airport information for airports in the area. And it took them a while, but they finally got to it. I have not used the driver taskbar yet. I'd be interested if you are using GridWise, if you've used the driver taskbar, let me know. One of these days, I'll, I'll test that out and do a little deeper dive into that. But I'm really happy, again, to see the airport and the weather information in there. It's going to help people in this market, in the upstate New York market, that are near these airports in Syracuse and Rochester and Buffalo and Albany. It's going to help them plan a little bit better. And I will be making sure to share it in the uh, Facebook groups that I'm a member of. So I appreciate the improvements that you've made GridWise. I appreciate that you uh, listen to us as people who use your product. And I'm looking forward to testing this out a little bit more. My name is John from Ride Up State. I want to thank you for watching this. If you like this kind of content, please hit that like button. And if you want to know when videos come out right away, hit the subscribe button and ring that bell. Until next time, remember that just because you're in a small market, it doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits. Bye.